everybody, this is just a quick video on how to create um, a template. Uh, what people see like on Squidjo and stuff like that. Um, so you can make your own templates like if you're doing holiday cards or um, holiday banners for people that way you can have the same type of font and all you have to do is replace or you know same design same font and all you have to do is replace the picture. So this is just a quick little tutorial real quick um, and we're just gonna make this what you're seeing right now, we're just going to make this again real quick. Um, what you're going to do is you are going to start with a new file in Photoshop. And I have mine sized as an 8x10 right now, or an 8x12, what it looks like. Um, but we can do a 10x8, or you can do a 5x7. And I'm going to have the background to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You can add different types of shapes, create shapes, all sorts of designs that you want to do. For me, I have a gold foil pack um, that I like to use. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So I open it up. I opened it up in Photoshop, um, and I hit Control or Command A to select it, and then Command or Control C so I can copy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hit Command or Control V to paste it in. Um, it's obviously not taking up my entire going all the way across so what I'm going to do is hit command or control T and that's going to be able to resize and transform it and I can also move it. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it and how I'm going to resize it is about right there. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to duplicate this layer just so I can have it on the bottom too. So I can go to my move tool up here since that layer is selected and just move it on down where I want it. And it's even with the other one. Uh, another thing that I'm just going to go ahead and throw in here is this little banner. And same thing, I'm going to select it, copy, and then paste into my template that I'm making and I'm going to transform it so I can shrink it down some because I'm just going to want it right over here on the side. So you are able to put fonts or any type of text in here in the banner if you want. You can do whatever you want. Okay. You can free transform it so you can move it around to go the way that the ribbon goes um, and that's really easy where you can go to edit, free transform, or, excuse me, um, you're going to want to go to skew. You're going to go to transform and skew, or you can also do warp. So I can go like this, and I can, if it was bigger, I can bring it over, but I can make it go just about any way that I want it to go. And we'll just hit OK. And then I can create more font all over here, sample font, sample text, buy me, because you can do this for your advertisements as well. So the big thing, and this is where everybody wants to know how to do this, is to where do you put the picture mask and how can you constantly put a picture in there and it fits perfectly. So what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to go to your rectangle tool that's right over here. And I like to keep my fill as a gray because that's what I'm used to. And I don't have a stroke or anything like that. And I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to create a rectangle. Or you can do it wherever, however you want to build your template, wherever you want the pictures to go, this is how you would do it. So this is done. I've got my, my shape there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a picture and I totally picked this picture by random. It was just in one of my document files. And I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come back to my template and I'm going to make sure that my shape right here is selected. And you are going to paste image here. Okay? And you're going to make sure that it's selected. Hit Command or Control V. And then you're going to right click on your picture layer and you're going to click on create a clipping mask. Well obviously I need to move it and I need to resize it. So here I hit control or command T 
and I'm going to go ahead and resize it and move it over where I want to. And you notice it's only showing up in the shape box. The shape that we created, that's where it is at. So now that I've got that size, eh, for now, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I hit OK, right? You know, I hit the check mark to show that I'm done transforming and it's completely placed in there. And as you can see over here on the layer, on the layers channel, or on, sorry, on the layers list, that it has got a layer mask or a clipping mask linked to that shape, to that specific shape layer. And you can release the clipping mask and it's no longer in the shape itself. You can see it bleeding outside of where you wanted it. But you can right click back on it and click on create a clipping mask. So this way you can create any type of template you want. Um, you can continue to use it over and over again. Um, if you don't want to buy your own from Squidjo, Birds Free, all those random million places that sell templates for advertising or for cards or for Facebook covers, you can make your own and it's this easy. So if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. Comment, um, you can send me a message. Uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook, uh, Bang Bang Tutorials, and that's facebook.com backslash Bang Bang Tutorial. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're up to date with the new videos that get posted. Hope you guys have a good night.